very Every deep. Every time I walk away from E, I feel like I look at life. Janine? Hey. Hi, John. What are you up to? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm doing uh, Out to Lunch with Suzanne Senna. Nice. Yeah. Cool. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm doing my thousandth show. Believe that? I've done a thousand episodes of Talk Soup. Thousand? Yeah. Sheesh. Kind of huge. So you're probably doing something special? Yeah, no. We, uh, we never really got around to, you know, put any thought into it. or. Didn't get any celebrities or anything? We tried, but uh, nobody would... Do it. We, I think we're, we might get one of the Nelson brothers, which would oh, be... Oh, Gunner? No, uh, the one with the... The bangs, the one with the bangs? Right, not the good one. Uh... Yeah, his hair's really dry. Yeah. He just use dry that. rocker hair. He should just use um, leave-in conditioner, you know, just screw right. a little bit size of a dime on your hand, do like that, work it through. Really? Yeah. Isn't that, is that like a rinse out, or do you leave that in? No, 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 hence the name, leave-in. Oh, see, I thought that was just what they called it. Yeah, I, well, a lot I, of people make that mistake. That makes sense, so... So... Um, Hey, any chance that you would want to, I mean, uh, oh, no. Because I was. <laughs> no, you know, no. I was just thinking, you know, you're here in the building. And no, all. no, no. I have to go out to lunch with Suzanne Senna. Right. No, I, I know. I just. We have to have lunch, Suzanne right. Senna. No, you mentioned that. I was just thinking, you know, if you want to. No, no, Suzanne Senna and I have to have doing. lunch because I heard Suzanne Senna is very hungry. Right, she is. No, but I figured you have that book out. No, 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 no. We could promote that book of yours. And... Oh, no. I actually think it would be counterproductive to promote it on Talk Soup. Okay, so I know that your audience doesn't tend to be readers. No, read that in Hollywood Report. I mean, are there are there pictures in the book? No. Okay, well, they're probably not then. Um. Okay. Well, good luck with your show. Yeah, good to see you. You too. Yeah, I'm gonna have lunch with Suzanne Senna. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'll see you. Jr. of cable television. Welcome to my thousandth episode of Talk Soup. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? I've done this program a thousand times, and you know what? I think I finally got the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, the first 900 or so, I was just working out the kinks. But from here on out, it's going to be smooth sailing. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure will be. <laughs> smooth. Well, here we are. <laughs> Wish we'd thought of something special to do. <laughs> kind of ran out of ideas. How did Carson celebrate his anniversaries? Well, they have guests come out and they sit on the couch and reminisce about the old times. Is it too late to do something like that? No. Hey, move these steps in here, you guys. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> Well, we just had this stuff lying around, you know what I'm saying? That's sweet there, Tommy. I got a microphone, a little talk soup note cards, and a cup and everything. I got a cup, too. Sweet. <laughs> I tell you, this is a far cry from the first show I ever did. Oh. You remember that? Oh, oh, boy, I do. <laughs> Why, that was back in 1995. I was just a callow youth in my first pair of long britches. <laughs> Our production values were pretty primitive, and my ties were pretty loud. Why, it seems as if it happened... Just yesterday. Anyway, uh, we know we got our work cut out for us, folks. We'll all miss Greg, but stay tuned for Talk Soup, the next generation. Oh, my God. Did you see the size of my hair? <laughs> Why did anybody say anything? Take a look at this. Well, clearly, there's been a change in length and volume. Look at the width here and the height. How am I able to achieve this without scaffolding? There Whoa. should be some sort of a structure right here for support. And look, look at my little 14-pound head. What is this, Whoa. man? I'm like a little preemie baby. I weigh nothing. My little 10-inch neck. Like I'm getting ready for the junior bra, man. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this tie oh, altogether. That was a mistake. I don't know whose idea that was. Compare that with me today. Look. Oh, my God! even match myself <laughs> oh, unbelievable <laughs> my looks certainly have changed throughout the years i'll say <laughs> i tell you tommy i've never been afraid to try a bold new style Ooh. hey i got an idea 
Why don't we take a look back and check out all the crazy get-ups I've been in? <laughs> what the hell? Why not? <laughs> Welcome to Talk Soup. I'm M. Butterfly. <laughs> Those who change channels get a right hard tall chalk in the gulliver. Coming up, an old pizza marries a Chalovic with two names. Plus, some poor vet drops his platies. But first, a zooby old couple get a malinky bit bazoomy on the giant jack like. Viddy well, my brothers. Viddy well. This, this ain't chicken soup, but yet it makes you feel warm all over. Me, I'm Yentl. Welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm a bloody wanker. I'm an albino carrot top. I'm for real, S.A. <laughs> Boy, is it humid out oh, here in yeah. Southern What's California. The about? humidity Whoa. is just killing me, Tom. I'm Harpo. Oh, yay, oh, yay. Talk Soup is now in session. Oh. Sorry, Tommy. You're watching Talk Soup, don't you eyeball me, boy? Where are you going, bra? You got the munchies? Cool. Bring me back a box of bugles. I like to put one on the ends of each of my fingers and make like a Freddy Krueger bugle claw. Yeah! Whoa. Welcome back to Talk Soup, the show that actually lowers your IQ, but if you're like me, you can spare a brain cell or two. I'm spaz. Wait. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> huh? Well, you sure were a chameleon, weren't you? Oh, I tell you, Tom, you know what they say, the clothes make the man. And props make the carrot top. And good eyeliner makes the drag queen. <laughs> uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, me. Comedy. But you know, Tom, I couldn't have done it all without you. Oh, thanks. No, I mean it. You know, you've always been there for me, you big lug. I try. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. How about a hand for Tom McNamara, the greatest stage manager in the business, huh? Let him know, folks. Tom McNamara. Isn't he great? Dude, I love you. Oh, you're the best. Dude, dude, what are you, nuts? But I was... I know, you're a great guy and all, but I'm just trying to toss into your montage here. Sorry. Sorry. It's cool. I've recently been portraying the affable buffoon Tom McNamara here on Talk Soup. I suppose I first perfected this role when playing Falstaff in a production of... Sir Tom, it's time for your next bit. Oh dear, duty calls. Hey, who wants to see me chuck this whole beer right down? Woohoo! It's all in the timing. <laughs> Hi, I am Jack Hanna. Here is a bear cat for you. Ah, ouch, my neck, it itches. The sun will come out tomorrow. You, hey, Tom, how are you? Shut up and sit down. Oh, good Here we go. You too. Five, four, three, two. The problems of three little people don't add up to a hill of beans in this crazy world that we live in. Now you're planting drops. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, eh? <laughs> Let's go get some beer. <laughs> okay. All man. right. Beauty. Told you they couldn't fight. Wussies. <laughs> oh, wow. That was terrific, Tom. Thanks for 1,000 amazing episodes. Hey, no problem. I would have shown up for work anyhow. <laughs> well, thanks just the same. You know, if it wasn't your show, it would have been somebody else's. <laughs> okay. That makes no difference to me. <laughs> All right, then. Let's just move on. <laughs> Stick around, Super Aficionados. Coming up, I'll present more crew member memories. Plus a potpourri of peculiar stunts. But first, it looks like soup. It tastes like soup. But it ain't soup. Hi, it's Jason Alexander. I just want to congratulate John Hansen on proving me wrong. I said, you know, the damn thing's never going to work, John. And here we are at 1,000. So <laughs> I guess I was off by a little. Congratulations. He's dangerous. He's mysterious. And extremely shagadelic. He's Austin Powers, the world's grooviest secret agent. Yeah, baby, yeah! Let E show you what it takes to be an international man of mystery. 
the intrigue, the adventure, and chicks galore, baby. You may even find out what shag means. So behave and go behind the scenes of Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me, tomorrow at 10 p.m., only on E. He's wearing his hanging socks as he steps onto the ice. Comfortable. Durable. A new Hanes reinforced heel and toe. Oh, soft landing. The crowd's loving it. The guys are here, honey. Go cat! How comfortable can you get? Just wait till we get our Hanes on you. Nice triple axle. <laughs> Need contact lenses? You could. Get in your car, drive to your eye doctor, wait in line, pay twice as much, wait a week, drive back, pick them up. Or call 1-800-CONTACTS. We deliver. You save. Showtime presents Beggars and Choosers, the new series that turns on TV. Meet Rob Malone, TV network president. He's a chooser. She's his beautiful, brilliant, backstabbing co-worker. Chooser wannabe. You're not a people person. And this is his boss, Chooser by Day. What do you think about the love boat on a plane? Fabulous. Beggar by night. <laughs> Thanks. I deserve that. Beggars and Choosers, coming soon, only on Showtime. The nation's obsession with Oreo O cereal has made milk a precious commodity. It's been tough. Very tough. Uh, what was that? That would be our dog spot. Uh, Oreo O's and milk. The crisis continues. Oh. In the next life, you'll come back as what you desire most. Whatever. Ah. Hello, nurse. Look out! Mm. Huh. Great. Came back as a pro football player. Was it? Snap. Uh oh. I'm a nice tea. That stuff is in here. This portion of E is brought to you by Snapple. The best stuff is in here. Congratulations, John. You're on your 1,000th show. Let's see, I think you've been on probably 100 times longer than me. So you're doing something right. Hey, Skunk Boy, happy 1,000th talk soup. Congratulations on your 1,000th episode. I'm Jennifer Lopez, by the way. Hi. Hey, John Hanson, happy 1,000th episode. We've only done about 120 ER episodes, so uh, you're setting a great example for all of us. John Hanson, congratulations on your 1,000th show. And thanks for having me on with Dustin, and also uh, playing uh, Just a Peanut. And uh, good luck, John, in your new career as Jason Alexander's valet. <laughs> wow. Huh? Welcome back to my 1,000th episode of Dog Soup. I'm John Henson. <laughs> You're probably saying to yourself, 1,000 episodes. Don't you get bored? <laughs> well, the truth is, sometimes we do get a little tired of our format. You know, same music, same spoons, same lesbians. So occasionally, we try to reinvent the show. In this next package, you're going to see talk soup set in different historical periods, in different countries, and even in the future. And take it from me, folks, it's funny times five. <laughs> Friends, Romans, and countrymen, hail, and welcome to Box Soupius, the show that makes the Pompeii disaster look like a chariot ride through Carthage. <laughs> and welcome to another edition of Talk Syrup. I'm Jean-Claude Henson, eh? You know how you have a Raggedy Ann doll and you have a Raggedy Andy? Well, sometimes Raggedy Andy likes to dress up like Raggedy Ann. Today's tribute to the number seven includes seven people who've embraced this alternative lifestyle. Oh, oh Madeline oh, Gaglon. Oh, oh, la, la, ma, c'est bon. Hello, Hong Kong. And welcome to the People's Republic of Red Soup. I'm... Li Shuao Chuang. Your script, Comrade Henson. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, on today's show, more government is good government. Capitalism, who needs it? And some bloopers from President Jiang Ximen's last speech. Bourgeois pig! Uh, actually, we seem to have uh, misplaced that footage, Tong. Hey, John, they just transmigrated this message from Elden 5 of Sector C. What does a citizen say, my little comedy clones? 
Dear John, we on Mars find your brand of slapstick a bit heady, but the colonists on Venus have always enjoyed your older body of work. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? <laughs> Good evening, movie lovers. Welcome to Cinematic Soup, the show that leaves a strange film on your eyes. Actually, several strange films. I'm John Henson. Oh, pretty neat, oh, huh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for the last one to come out on DVD. You know, you get all those fancy extras and everything. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I like to pretend. <laughs> Make believe is cool. <laughs> oh, you bet it is. <laughs> hey, let's pretend we're having fun right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> Stick around, folks. This magic milestone is just starting to simmer. Later, we'll serve up our favorite running jokes, plus the best of our viewer mail. Yippee! But first, a travel log featuring highlights from our road shows. Okay, stop, friend. There we go. Oh, like that? Yeah, we got sort a finish of a crack. You know, if done well, no can defend. Yeah, that's it. Crack right. kid. General's daughter. Why was she murdered? On June 18th, Paramount Pictures presents the most anticipated thriller of the summer. Profit, revenge, jealousy for plain old people. Homicidal mania. From the producer of Clear and Present Danger and the director of Con Air, John Travolta. This is my investigation. You better start thinking about your career. You better start thinking about yours. The General's Daughter, rated R, starts Friday, June 18th. Mazda Miata. Set it free, and it'll return the favor. There is a way to lose weight and keep it off for life. I lost 39 pounds on the Slim Fast plan. I've kept it off for three years. I exercise, I eat right, and I have a Slim Fast for lunch every day. It's delicious. It helps keep me looking like this. 23 vitamins and minerals, protein, calcium, fiber, all the balanced nutrition like a healthy meal. I feel wonderful. I'm in control. With Slim Fast, I plan to stay slim for life. Slim Fast every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. I did it. You can do it changed a generation star wars it's an in-depth look at star wars mania tomorrow at nine only on e Ooh, can i get this please i'll pay for college come on dad this father's day get dad something he really wants from dicks i won't ask for anything else all year dicks is like a toy store for dad with a huge selection of everything he wants Choose from all the top brands of golf equipment, fishing gear, clothing, footwear, and more. All the other dads are getting them. This Father's Day, go to Dick's. Hey, kids, can we come back tomorrow? You want the best for your children. You feed them and clothe them. You prepare for their future. Don't overlook orthodontics. Tenbrook Orthodontics is a state-of-the-art orthodontic facility with a caring, friendly staff. We're dedicated to providing the highest quality orthodontic care. We use the newest braces and techniques which allow us to provide relatively painless treatment for both children and adults. It's a priceless return for such a small investment. Tenbrook Orthodontics. Come see what everyone is smiling about. Congratulations on 1,000 episodes of Talk Soup. Aren't you glad they didn't call it what? Talk Stew. Talk Stew. Is that funny? Congratulations, John, on a thousand shows. I, I cannot believe that. That's an incredible amount of work. Just to just to do that many shows is amazing. But but they were all great. Every single show was just a work of art. It was fabulous. Okay, okay, there were there were a few that, that were not as good as others, but still, all in all, really, really great. Hey, John Henson, congratulations on 1,000 shows. You were accused of being a funny man, and I find you guilty. So let's get it on. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Who wrote this? <laughs> okay, if I'm really thinking about it, there's probably about half of them that were really great, and then another half that had a little wolf wolf on them, if you know what I'm saying. 1,000 episodes of Talk Soup? Now, that's what I call unforgivable. Has it been 1,000 shows already? 
love you the most, baby, baby. So, you know, in dog years, those 500 shows are actually 3,500 shows, plus the 500, which puts you actually at 4,000 shows. That, my friend, is an accomplishment. You know, you know Donnie, Donnie and I, and I have, have a talk soup. soup. Have something in common. Says not. Okay. This is lousy. Bam! <laughs> you know, Donnie and I have something well in common with talk soup. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have a thousand episodes. We have a thousand relatives. <laughs> they laughed. They laughed. Congratulations, you guys. Well, you know what they say, a thousand times a charm. Welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm John Henson. You know, folks, over the past few years, we've taken Talk Soup on the road to places both exotic and urban, from tropical heat to freezing cold. <laughs> and if you've ever been to Chicago in January, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, mercy. Nearly froze my nards off. But at least I could beat the chill with warm thoughts of Tahiti. Dear Ma, I'm having a great time here in Tahiti. I've seen and done all kinds of interesting things. Yesterday, I did some canoeing. You know, it's a lot harder than it looks. Uh. Hit it, Shane! Oh, yeah, baby. We're gonna have more fun than a dingo in a daycare center. So brace yourself for talk soup down and down. Shake, stop, and there we go. Oh, like that? Yeah, we're gonna sort finish like that. You know, if done well, no can defend. Yeah, that's it. Crack right. it. In Chicago. great we went all around the world on the company dime <laughs> you went all around the world the crew guys had to stay here yeah we sure pulled a fast one on the chumps and management didn't we <laughs> yes sir first class the whole way hey you know what it just occurred to me we haven't had a pay raise in four and a half years all right let's just move on <laughs> dude go get out oh okay long time viewers know alan Wu is our kooky ad the asian urkel and that perv in the coke bottle glasses now let's get to know him as our friend. Here he is, folks, Alan Wu. Welcome. Welcome, me. <laughs> Welcome, Alan. Thanks, John. <laughs> Alan, you know, you've become a fan favorite over the years. Our audience can't seem to get enough of you. How do you explain your appeal? Well, I just try to be myself. Well, <laughs> in that case, let's take a look at a package I like to call Deja Wu. <laughs> Nothing like fresh pork brains and oh! <laughs> you are so, you are so unprepared for what you're getting ready for. <laughs> mommy, mommy, oh. stop looking at me! Don't you look at me! Don't look at me! Forfeiture of any of the squid means forfeiture of funds. There's a bucket right here if you need to vomit. What's happening? What's happening to my body? Ooh. Oh, more, more! Alan, it's over. What? You said you loved me. No, the, the clip, Alan. The clip is over. Oh, uh, oh. Real.
fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, dude. You're, you're making me feel dirty. Okay, relax your remote hand, kids. We're gonna roll a couple of commercials. Later, we'll look back at the jokes we beat to death. Our beloved director, Fred Mendez, and some stuff that even we can't explain. It's all coming up next. Congratulations, John, on your 1,000th show. Just think, you've witnessed over 470 transsexuals, 620 angry lesbian strippers, 75 Nazis, and one guy who cut off his own genitalia. I just hope you have a good therapist. A secret almost.